Hey everybody, it's Video Bob, and I'm back with another cool unboxing. You know, I've recently kind of gotten into some kind of cool blingy jewelry. Let me turn this light on. There we go. That's a little better. And uh, I was watching this TV show called Riding with Norman Reedus. No, Norman Reedus is the guy that plays Daryl Dixon on The Walking Dead. And he likes to ride a motorcycle, and he has a TV show about riding a motorcycle. In one of the episodes, he goes to this store called The Great Frog of London, which is on Melrose Avenue out in L.A. Now, I go shopping on Melrose Avenue all the time. Uh, whenever I go out to L.A., a couple of times a year, there's a couple of great places out there. And this store is way down at the tail end of Melrose towards the snootier section where most of the punk rockers like me never go. So I had to check out this store. So the last time I was out there about a month ago, I went and visited the store. And they had a couple of things in there that I really liked. They had a ring that I liked. They had a wallet chain that I wanted. And I wanted to buy the stuff. They gave me a bunch of bullshit excuses. Oh, we can't let you have this ring. We're going to have to mail it to you for our, from our store in London. You know, they have a store. <clears throat> Their main store is in London. They got a store in LA. They got a store in New York. And I'm like, really? You got to mail me the fucking ring? And uh, it was just a bunch of bullshit. <clears throat> so I ended up ordering this stuff. And this was not cheap. I'm talking about 1500 bucks for a ring in this wall and chain. Just about. Then uh, I get a notice from DHL, these cocksuckers, that says, I owe $180 for duties and taxes that I got to pay on this fucking jewelry. So fuck you, London Frog, for putting a goddamn invoice in the package with the price of the stuff on there when you know they're going to do that, you assholes. So let's see if this stuff's any good. What a pain in the ass it is to buy from this company. And you know me, I always give an honest review. You know, I thought the jewelry was pretty good, but for fuck's sakes, could you make it any harder to buy your shit? I mean, I could have just bought it while I was there. All right, let's see what we got here. See, this right here is the problem. This is why it was been cut open by customs and looked at and gone through. Let's see. Thank you for your purchase official ghost collaboration ring featuring the nameless ghoul. So, uh, as you read in the title, this is a... All right, let's start with the ring first. Now, I love the band Ghost. Ghost is one of my favorite bands. <clears throat> love them, love them, love them. If you're not familiar with Ghost, go check out Ghost or Ghost BC, as they're well known. Here's the box. Let me, uh, now why didn't this open up over here? Let me put this in. Let's get some light on the situation. That lamp. You know I me, mean? I don't like to like edit my videos. This, this stuff is raw. All right, here we go. You're gonna get to see it just like I get to see it. That comes in a little bag. Better for the price. $17 worth of silver cost me 300 bucks. Let's see what we got here. I hope it fits. Ah, uh, there it is. Can you see that? So the nameless ghoul. Wow, that is pretty. That is a nice ring. And uh, on the inside, you have the ghost logo and the TGF frog, and it's number 169. Hell yeah, 69. And hell yeah. It fits. Yeah, it's where I wanted it, right there. That's a, I got to, that is a cool fucking ring, I gotta say. It was $285. And, um, you know, it's sterling silver, 925. It's heavy. And, um, there it is. Bang. So, that's a big ring, too, man. That's my nameless ghoul ring. Hail ghost. This ball sack. All right, bling bling. Now this, this goddamn thing, here we go. This is a wallet chain made of skulls. Little tiny Terminators. Get this box open. Okay, all right already. Again with the, it, it's, it seemed bigger in the store, but Wow, this one's really shiny. I seem to remember the one in the store not being a shiny. It's 
got a kink in his head here. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's not cool. All right. So, wow, that's pretty heavy. <clears throat> so what do we got? We got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I could have sworn I counted 18 of these on the one on the picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'll have to go look at their website again. Anyway, what you got here are these cool little um, skulls. And they are sol soldered together. Um, so that they won't come out and my other wallet chain, which is this one here, what we're going to replace it with It's just like cheap metal and it's just bent together This was what twelve hundred and eighty dollars For this chain A lot of money But you know, it's sterling silver and it's and it's badass stuff uh, Hell while I got you here on the line, I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull it up. I'm gonna pu pull up um, and you can do this with me. The Great Frog of London. I'm going to, I just got to, so you go under shop, you go under motorcycle accessories. And uh, I was going to buy their wallet that they sell. But I don't know. There were some things about it I decided I didn't like. All right, let me look. Large wallet skull chain, $1,255. Made from British Hallmark 925 sterling silver, measuring approximately 42 centimeters long. Each link has been hand carved in wax, cast in silver, and then oxidized and polished to a high shine in our Soho basement. Perfect accompaniment for our leather wallet. Let's see. Let me look at this picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's eighteen of them on the picture, and then there's sixteen of them on the chain. What the fuck, great frog? And and let me tell you why this is important. They charge something like I think it's like 135 bucks for just one of these little skulls. Yeah, the skull key, the skull key ring, one of these skulls with that attached to it, that right there, and then a, a ring on the end is $235. And they have stolen two skulls from me. I'm so fucking pissed off at this company. They have jacked me off from the moment I tried to buy this stuff. And then when I argued with them about paying the $180, I go, listen, you never told me I was going to have to pay $180 of duties importation. The whole point of buying online is so you don't have to pay tax in the first place. Right? So I'm going to take a picture of this, and then I'm going to send it to these assholes, and I'm going to tell them, hey, man, what's up? You know, I mean, listen, I'm normally not Mr. Bitchy Pants. But when you're selling way overpriced stuff like jewelry to people, they expect customer service. Now, when I bought this skull from Jason of Beverly Hills, this gold skull with the diamond eyes, first of all, they, they, they gave me a deal on it, but they went above and beyond to overnight this thing to me, polish it, and, and they were willing to resize it for free, but I didn't really have the size. I had to get it resized again later. But the point is, is, they went above and beyond to get me this ring, and and I was impressed with their service, okay? Because that's what you're paying for. You know, when you go to a nice steakhouse and you have a $100 steak, the steak is 15 bucks a pound. What you're paying for is the service of getting it, you know? And it's cool looking and everything, but they've stolen two skulls off of me. Fucking lame. To be continued, I can't add on to the video, but I will post comments under the video and let you know what they say. So, uh, <clears throat> my overall review is, I mean, this thing is kind of scratched up. It's kind of, 
you know, whatever. It's going to get scratched up anything, but I would have assumed that it would be highly polished before they bothered throwing it in a bag and sending it to me. The ring is super cool. Is it worth $285? I don't know. It depends on how big a ghost fan you are. I think it's a cool ring. If you were to buy this ring at a flea market, it'd probably cost you 50 bucks. But this is one of these goddamn uh, London and, and West Hollywood stores. You're going to pay up the ass for it. That's fine. I think the quality of these skulls is really good, which is why I bought them. They're nice and, and, and heavy and they're cool and I like the way they look and blah, 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 blah. But I got to tell you, buying from this company was a total pain in the ass. I ended up having to pay $180 more than I wanted to pay, which is a lot of money, considering I probably only paid that much for the chain I currently have. And then they steal two skulls off the chain. I'll have to get a, uh, I'll have to measure it. Let's see. And, and see exactly how long it is. Cause you know, they, they say that it's however long. Let's see. Cause you gotta think just one of these skulls sells for like, for instance, they sell a, one of these skulls as a, a little popper thing for $120. It's just the, you wanna buy just that little skull that's what those go for. Let's see. Length 40 centimeter. All right, well, I'm going to hop off here. Catch you guys later. I know I'm in a bad mood on this video. Oh, poor Mr. Bob and his expensive jewelry. Wah. I know. I know. I get it. But you want to know something? I'm not some fucking rich guy. I'm just a guy who works hard and spends his money on the things that he likes. And there's a difference. You know, rich kids who inherit money and they just blow it on Lamborghinis and shit. I work really hard for these things. And they're things that I care about. And I don't just buy them on a whim. I put a lot of time and effort and investigation into them. I'm not a rich guy, but I'm a guy that does well and makes a decent living. And when I see something that I want, I don't want to deny it for myself. I want to enjoy life. And I want to enjoy the things that I have. And quite frankly... I take care of my shit. I've got rings that I've had since the 90s that I still wear. This is an early, this is an like 1991 Rolex. I've been wearing this thing for as long as I can remember. I don't just go out and buy watches every week. This is, I've been wearing the same watch since the Clinton presidency. You understand? So I take care of my stuff. Anyway, video Bob, please subscribe. Sorry for bringing you down on this video. Catch you later. Bye.